Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you how to work with soft pastels. For this you will need a box of soft pastels and a paper, preferably cartridge paper or any paper which is slightly grainy because the soft pastel effect comes best on a grainy paper. So once you have your paper ready, you can start drawing whatever object you wish to make. Once you have made the drawing, you can start directly working with your soft pastels and it is quite fun to work with soft pastels as you can see that after giving the strokes of the colors, you can easily blend them with your fingers. You can also use a ball of cotton to blend them. You should always keep in mind to start with the lighter colors and gradually move towards the deeper shades. And wherever you need to uh, use white, it's better that you leave that part paper white. Although you can give highlights with the white soft pastel, but leaving paper white will make it more effective. As you can see, soft pastels, they do not stay permanently on the paper. So you need to be very careful while you are coloring because they may get easily erased if your hand touches any part that you have already finished coloring. So while coloring, just be a little cautious so that you don't smudge the parts where the coloring has already been done. Once you finish the entire picture, there are several fixatives available in the market with which you can spray on your artwork. And once it dries up, your artwork becomes permanent and it will no longer get erased easily. In case you do not want to use a fixative or you don't have one, what you can do is take fevicol and water, mix in equal quantities, take it in an empty bottle and you get these mouth sprays which are also available in stationery shops. So you can take that and spray the entire artwork with this mixture of fevicol and water over the artwork. Here are a few more 